With the release of Season 2, they buffed a few of the Wonder Weapons. For example, they added a ton of damage to the Scorcher. They increased the Direct Impact Plasma by 333%, and the Lingering Plasma damage has been increased by 428%. Because of this, I wanted to go in and do the Quad Pap glitch to see how much crazier this Scorcher might be. Because that glitch doubles the damage of a Wonder Weapon that has been triple Pack-a-Punched. And yes, this glitch made the already super buffed Scorcher stupid strong. I'll show you what all it can do in just a moment. They also increased the ray gun damage and I tested that with the quad pap glitch and I'll show you the results of that and then they finally made it where the VR11 will now damage the red worm and that is what this video is really about. The VR11 with the quad pap glitch is ridiculous and just obliterates so I was excited that I could finally try it on the red worm. It's so stupid strong it just breaks the boss fight and because it's so amazing we're gonna go do a special 24 player full lobby red worm boss fight with quad pad vr 11s we'll be in tag 935's stream tomorrow on saturday february the 17th we'll be starting around 3 p.m eastern i'll have a link to his channel down in the description if you guys want to watch us go in and insta destroy this thing we're going for a one second red worm boss fight kill we did already go in with several vr 11s in the red worm fight and i'll show you how that turned out later on in the video first let me show you what the Scorcher can do, and then I'll also show you how to quad path these Wonder Weapons. This is an after patch. They recently patched the version we used with the USB machines and then the Juggernaut. The Scorcher quad path against the Mega Abominations is actually great. You could normally never fight one of these with a Scorcher, but when it's quad path, you can melt these Megas. Look how crazy strong this is. I got the Mega trapped in the lingering plasma beams, and it is just wrecking. This is extremely fun to do and very satisfying. Also, we went in and tried it on the Stormcaller because that's one of the tankiest enemies on the map besides the Red Worm. And again, we got it trapped in the plasma and that health bar depleted instantly. You guys know how strong this thing is, so seeing that was incredible. However, I wouldn't use the Unglitch Scorcher for the Megas or the Stormcaller even at its newly buffed state, but Quad Pap, yes, that is fun. The Quad Pap Scorcher is so strong, it turns the zombies into blood splatter because the damage is so high. Like normally there's a plasma type death animation effect on the zombie when it's killed, but this just bypasses that animation completely. It insta kills tier three minglers and disciples, which is also fun. And given all that, I thought maybe there was a slim chance it would be useful on the red worm, but it is not. And shout out to Kim is the bomb. We went in with two quad pap scorchers against the red worm and it just wasn't moving the health bar like we were hoping. So this was a bust and I would not recommend taking this thing into the Red Worm boss fight. For the Quad Pap Ray Gun, it wasn't anything special, honestly. Even though they said they increased the damage of this weapon, it was not apparent. I had tested this Ray Gun before on all the Tier 3 enemies Quad Papped, and when I went in after this buff, the Ray Gun seemed to be performing exactly the same. It required the same amount of shots to kill specific type of enemies like before the buff. I do enjoy using it against the Megas, and it does delete zombies in Tier 3, and it's great and super strong, but I would rather have the Scorcher or the VR11 if I'm gonna bother quad papping something. Now let me show you the best weapon against the Red Worm and what all it can do. I am talking about the VR11 and quad packing it. This beast of a weapon is a two shot on the Megas when quad packed. I like to shoot the Megas when it's doing that laser beam attack. It allows for an easy critical hit on one of the mouths. Just two shots from the quad packed VR11 and it is done. One shot takes half of its health then the second shot finishes it off. For the Stormcaller, it is a three shot, which is amazing. For zombies, obviously, you're just turning them and making them fight for you. And it doesn't increase the power of those frenemies towards other zombies. It one shots tier three disciples and mimics, and it's a two shot on Mangler's body armor. After witnessing the sheer power this thing holds on even the strongest enemies, I was hoping it would be the Red Worm Killer we had all hoped and wished for. On paper, it looked good, but you never know until you test it. I first tried with two players with two quad packed VR 11s to see what they would do and it was definitely a wow factor. The VR 11s were taking massive chunks of health off the red worm. This is the most damage I've ever seen done to the red worm with any weapon. The quad packed wonder wafts that I so love in this fight doesn't even come close to the destruction this VR 11 does to this worm. We killed it in 59 seconds with two of us. 
After seeing that, I knew this had major potential. So we went in with five players from Tag935's stream, all wielding quad pack VR11s, and we killed the worm in 23 seconds. After seeing that, we knew we could kill this thing in world record time of maybe one second if we had enough shooters. So we will be attempting that tomorrow in stream. Again, I'll have that link down in the description. Then after that, I got even better news about the power of this VR11 in this fight. Shout out to Purple Cow Killer. He has been helping with this and he went in with three players that all had the quad packed VR11 and they managed to kill this worm in 4.8 seconds. So this is probably the world record as of now. I'll have his YouTube channel linked down in the description. There was definitely one shot that seemed to have landed in a way that just deleted over half of the health bar. The theory is that range matters. You need to be close enough not to get wrecked but not too far away when shooting and we're going to keep that in mind tomorrow for strategy when we go in. So yeah, as it stands, the quad packed VR11 is going to be the best weapon against the Red Worm. If you're going in solo, yeah, I would take this in. The last thing I want to show you is the after patch on how to quad pack a wonder weapon. The method is pretty much the same as when you use the USB machines and it's all about timing. This method also allows you to hold up to eight weapons, but for this video and the purposes of just having an awesome weapon, we're just going to be focusing on quad packing a wonder weapon. There's a few things I do to make this easier. First is I don't buy jug because it can make the timing harder for some reason and also don't buy PhD flopper because you need to be able to get downed and take fire damage. You will need to equip molotovs and a three plate armor vest makes it easier and find a weapon safe stash contract. Have a wonder weapon in a case unequipped, have a legendary tool ready, and be holding two regular weapons. It will not work if you're holding a ray gun. Now this will work if you're just picking up a wonder weapon that's already out of its case off the ground or one that's on the ground in a case, doesn't matter. The next step is to pick up the contract and head to the safe. And I have my tap to interact on. That seems to work really well for me. And what you do is throw down a Molotov in front of the safe and then start taking fire damage and make sure that interaction with the safe is visible and as soon as your white health bar gets to 30 percent you want to interact with the safe if done correctly you should get down but not fully attach the drill to the safe and then you want to get revived by any means like a self-revive a dog can revive you or other players once revived you want to start switching your weapons until you're not holding a weapon at all if you see that then you did it right while holding out your fist equip a wonder weapon then drop one of the regular weapons in your left or right slot and once you do that you'll see the wonder weapon move into the second slot you'll also notice that the weapon looks like its rarity has been removed and it will just be gray instead of that ultra orange yellow color the next step is important you need to put a legendary tool on it but you can't do it until you pack a punch the weapon in any way you can use a crystal or you can use a machine and pap level doesn't matter when once you have it pack-a-punched in level 1, 2, or 3, then you can place a legendary tool on it and you'll see that ultra color come back. At this point, it has double the damage of whatever pack-a-punch level you have. So definitely go and get that thing pack-a-punched all the way to level 3 if you haven't already. Again, this is a method to quad pack just one legendary weapon. If you're wanting to do more or hold more weapons, there is a different method because once you do this, you cannot go back to that safe and start doing it with more weapons. It won't work. But I hope this helped you guys out and we'll see you next video and maybe hopefully see you tomorrow in the stream.